How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode of State the K2. In today's video, I'm going to start a brand new community. So if you guys saw the video I made yesterday, I finished the final Warlord Legacy. That was the only legacy that I haven't complete for the past four months that I own this game. And today I will start this perfect community. I won't, I won't say perfect, I won't say perfect, I will say good, a very very good community with the amenity which I'm sure everyone knows and most people will agree that it's probably a must and then what I will do is actually going to pick charity which is a chef's, the sheriff's legacy which provides you with items per day so I'll explain why I don't want a trader's community so the trader's community basically give me a boost right from the start but since I want to use the red talent soldiers I wouldn't need it if you know what I mean, like I want to recruit those red talent soldiers. It's gonna take me time to earn the points from playing Daybreak, so I might as well get the long-term effect of Chef's community and get good things every single day. And for now, what I'm trying to pick is the three community members that I have prepared for moving on. I hope that they're still here. They better still be here. Where? Self, there's one. So Self is one of them. I had Self for a while, and she was one of the first people that I actually recruit in the game. She's really, really good on almost everything. And then, of course, now that I packed her with a lot of stuff, I basically have to take her with me. Now, where is I think it's the leader of the my last group, the End Timers? What's the name of this guy? Choose your new community name. Oh, there it is. It's uh, Fillmore. So Fillmore was the leader of my previous group. I have, Previously, I had a... I think it was Builder. And then I exiled him. And then I actually promote him to be the leader just for the legacy. And I forgot the last one. Oh, last person was Ashton. Ashton is a must. There is no chance that I would ever bend an Ashton. Ashton was the first character that I've ever gotten. One of the first four characters, three of them die. The doctor, the soldier, and a buddy die. Ashton was the one of the four original characters. And where are you, Ashton? Was that you, Ashton? Yep, there she there he is. That's not Ashton. That's Austin. Almost got tricked. How sad would that be? Where are you, Ashton? I better not lose you. There there he is. As you guys can see, close combat is still zero. Even though I tried to give him some of the best. I tried and train him up, but he doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Alright guys, let's start. So these three guys should have been basically packed with good stuff already. I gave them some knowledge. I gave them some mods. And I did pack each of them. I should have packed each of them with material, meds, and foo, I believe. But once we start the new community, we will basically see... And I think we are still at Casket Hills. Funny enough, all three of my communities and are at Casket empty. Hills. Again. So whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I accidentally stumbled on a juggernaut. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible. Maybe with some room to expand. There it is. I am using Ashton. And as you guys can see, I... <laughs> I have two Eternal Guards Rage, whatever it's called, and then also a Preppers AK. So the, all three of these characters are pretty well off and as weapon goes. That's why I didn't pick the Warlord. Let's take this truck home. I'm pretty sure this truck is only missing fuel. I hope. Yep, it is. The, home, the first base that I will get, what I'm planning to do is just set up three facility. Uh, infirmary a workshop and hopefully a hydroponic I don't know, remember exactly what I needed for the hydroponic I think I need utility and maybe something else but I should have most of it 
and I have brought along some plague samples so I should have enough to give to the guy I think I have 99 which is like the way over what I needed from my previous communities I could have basically asked some of my subscribers for help and just help, told them to carry a lot of items over for some of my communities but I want to basically do a fresh start the whole concept of going out and scavenge for supplies made the game more realistic and I really enjoy that when when you start with too much the game is too easy it's not the game's already too easy from the start so the only reason to make it more fun is you know having the opportunity to scavenge for materials and have a little oh whoa chillax there what was I saying? Got a little surprise from that zombie. But just experience how to, you know, survive in this game. I think this got to go upstairs and check it out. And then we're almost done. Once we start, we can basically... Oh, Time there it is. Place and move in. This base doesn't require any. So, confirm. So, there it is, guys. My first base claim in the new community and i think did we already put our stuff in where where's ashton's Pipes stuff working and the breaker box is connected okay i'm gonna deposit some of these stuff because we owe your people so much we brought some supplies as a welcome to our town our first priority has to be gathering materials we'll need them to improve this place yeah yeah i know switch characters oh what was that other some of the other commands to get building either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start i bought of course some ammo well, for some guns okay so far right on. bring on zombie i know you're here you're up for playing good neighbor we'd be grateful i think i like this blade more than okay. the long one I'll be there shortly much appreciated where's self come here self if we show our neighbors that we're friendly, that they could pay off later. Maybe I'll go check later. I'll switch to self. I'm done. You do this for a while. I didn't bring any meds. Oh, maybe I did. I think Ashton might have supply, uh, deposited in the back of that truck. And of course, some knowledge books. Right before, I mean, I had two opportunities. Right before I ended the legacy, I found a wandering trader and spent most of my points. my Not prestige points, of course, just my influence points. Where's that guy? Right there. And when I did, I bought a second Eternal Guards Rage, whatever it's called. And then I also brought some heavy snipers. I like to put my guards with snipers like basically if people in the community rest the community with 50 cows they do work with 50 cows there you are there's food i mean the honeys i always wonder does the honey replenish does that mean i get like infinite food just around my next door i don't know if you guys remember i also talked about having external facilities what i mean by that was for example, the next door. Why can't I build a garden or something next door? It's not even that far away. But then again, it probably make the game too easy. The zombie won't do anything to my garden. Talk to the scrappers. Let's see what the scrappers want. I think they're just right down the street. And I have some other resources in the back of that truck I thought the scrappers were right down the street the scrapper I guess is not right down the street wow this is a fast little crawler you are fast buddy just got your head chopped off okay so it won't show me who it is oh it's my buddy do I have a suppressor? I don't think I have a suppressor on this guy. I wanted to save ammo, but bring it on. Yeah. 
I'll have a ton of ammo outposts. So one of the reasons why I want to get rid of the, my previous community, which is my first community, is because it didn't have the builder's legacy. So both water and power, I have to have an outpost and it was causing me fuel daily. That's causing me other fuel incomes basically. So I have to have fuel income. I have to have water and power outposts. So it took up three, four actually, to just get those. All right, what's up, buddy? What do you need? Staying safe out there? We'll try to gather blood plays. Okay, I'll the get them for you. The collect samples is by killing plague zombies. I should have known. I should have known. That whole area could be crawling with infected zombies. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. Make sure you gear up for this one. Be ready to fight. Whatever. I don't need to gear up. Good way to make friends. Let's hope this pays off. We could use allies out here. It will pay it off. Just relax, yo. So right here is a rare weapons crate, but it's always open. So my assumption is this is probably one of those crates that's going to be needed when I play how should co-ops with others. It will be close. So when your friend that joins you in the world, he or Maybe. she will probably ha can open it and get a weapon out of that crate. I've noticed that when I was playing, when I found a new crate, it was open and I found it in Spawn's game, I believe. And it was close. In my own game, it was open. Let's start building something since we have, the, like I said, for, can I build hydroponic? Oh yes, I can. So it's gonna cost me five, Three and three. So the hydroponic, the only thing I don't have is box of C and scraps of circuitry, which I can find probably somewhere out there. Let's build this. Did I build that? Was it a workshop that I built? I think it was a workshop that I built, right? Yep, it was a workshop. So let's build the infirmary. Okay. And then let's deposit the food that I have. Let's go out and scavenge a little. I need some meds. And then of course the medicine outpost is gonna cost me what? Three? 300 I believe. And with the preppers AK I should be able to take out a play card. But just in case, I don't have any parts. I should have brought parts too. But is my Preppers AK damage? Repair only costs three parts. So no, I don't think so. Let's go get that play card. This should be one right here, I think. So if we clear the play card, we should be able to get enough points. What do I? What else do I need? Play examples. I don't really need it at the moment, but let's go. I'm gonna go get that play card. Hopefully, that restaurant or something will have some seeds and or circuitry. Circuitry. A lot of time I can find them by those boxes. Okay, so we got meds too. That's the. I think that's the med I brought over. That's just four. So we still need gasoline, which is going to be one of my outposts. Eventually. Because they take the f they took the flo floating outpost away, I don't think I can have the outposts near my base anymore. I mean, I could, but I prefer now have them more spread out since... Now, they didn't really take it away, I guess. I can't really say they took it away. They just made it that you had to actually spend points to use the floating outpost. Yo, what up, buddies? What I like to do is drive around. So thick and wet. Or not. Like the... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Where did these guys come from? Oh, crap. Come on. Give me a break, guys. Oh, 
Almost got it too. Yep, got it. So this blade is not that easy to use, if I'm honest. And I got the plague sample. Just three? Seriously? Most of the time I feel like I get like five out of those things. How much influence points did I get? That's more important question. And I got a ton of food again. I don't really need food. Never really do. Oh no, actually, I think it was my first community. For a while, I was starving my communities. So, but after you learn the tricks and stuff, you don't really need those anymore. There's room in my pack. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't really find any seeds. That's the thing. Energy drink, okay. Where's that last case? Oh, there's that. I'm surprised there's nothing in the office. So we got two sacks of food out of this. A lot of time in the market is like where the food, oh, three sacks of food, nice. And of course there are more plague samples. Gasoline store is right next door. Maybe I should go get some gas since we are missing. That's what one of the things that's still zero out. But I hope I can find more than gasoline there. More materials. I can upgrade those stuff. I should have power and water already. Consider I already have the builder's legacy. The bonus from it. There's actually two things of gas in here. Maybe I can find multiple sacks. So I have three sacks of food in the truck. But since I can only have two searchable products, items from this. Okay, so we got a can of gas. Not exactly what I was hoping for. So there's nothing in there? Yeah. Got one sack of gas. Let's put that back in the truck first. Okay. Not seeing anything useful in here. Seriously? Lock. There's nothing in this whole store. Okay. That makes perfect sense. But this gas tank normally has like five items on it. So what should I do for my first two outposts? I think the outposts for me at the time is not that important. I think the most important thing for me is set up the facilities I need, which is the workshop, the hydroponic. Which I still don't find a seed. I haven't really found any seeds. Man, putting a breaker on that thing is causing a lot of noises, I think. I could hear a zombie, but I can't see where he is. Right next to me. Okay, totally ruined it. I was almost there. Come on, search, search. I don't think I can make it. Dang it, you. Come on. Alright, third time's a charm, huh? Where is the last item? I think it's up there. It has to be. There's no reason for it to keep it far away. It's probably a sack or something. Oh, no, it's a gas canister. What can I find a gas canister? Gasoline soaked bread. It's gonna be food. Nah, I don't think I ever actually found food in there. Nice, a sack of gasoline. Can I go back home and convert some food to gas? I mean, to seeds? It's probably gonna take me some time, but we could. I didn't even get a notification that says that I could have the items that the chef's legacy deliver. You guys, I mean, we heard it earlier. It says that, oh, we are here to think this is for all the things that you have done for us. I'm going the wrong way.
the nursery. So if we, if I would have chose the trader's legacy, there would have been a trader just sitting inside the nursery. I know that for a fact because I had the traders in the other one. This community, I'm thinking about doing more like maybe streaming. I'm trying to see set up my streams. I have to learn how to use the OBS system, which is something that I'm awful at. Like Alright, I'm definitely not driving the truck again. I'm awful at driving trucks, it seems. Okay. Let's tr just transport these in. I probably have too much food. Yep, I knew it. You shut up. Hi, parents. That's so helpful. We just had to send over a thank you gift. Painkillers? I thought they were supposed to be like legit stuff, you know, like AKs. Oh, I'm just kidding. I know that it wasn't gonna be something like that. Oh, I didn't really bought any extra external mods for this. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we have. Are you guys finished with this already? That is fast. Six more materials. I don't have any chemistry. Oh man, that's what I forgot to brought over the. There was a third mod that I should have done. So we need two people to clean this, and I haven't done it. I only brought over three mods, thinking about the food and stuff. But you're done. Why can I have? Huh? I don't understand. Okay, maybe I do need to recruit some people. I'll, what I'm thinking is I'll go play because right now as you guys can see I have what 3406 I think the red talent is 3250 I probably could call a red talent contractor can I daybreak yeah 3250 red talent contractor maybe now I have fourth Our team needs to expand and you have the talent we're looking for any chance of recruiting from red talent absolutely we have a nearby agent who will respond shortly to your request. Nice. So that's gonna be our fourth member. How cool is that? That this is my first time actually getting a red talent. Let's go. I heard your call. A, a ass kicker, buddy. How much gas do I need? Ref I can't see. But let's go over there and meet up with this ass kicker. One thing about Casket Hill is that I've played it so many times. Most of the spaces, not over at this corner, but towards the south where the container fort is. I know it pretty well where I can drive. But the, of course, that's the ultimate base that we're going for. Not right here. This base will be a little while. I'll stay here for a little while, but it won't be the base. I have played with people that chooses small bases on purpose because they, you know, have super, super skillful characters and they don't need big bases. But personally, I prefer like huge bases. If possible, I would like to have a huge community too. But of course, there's going to be a limit on max. I wish I can get like a community like 50 or 60. How cool would it be if... Where are you saying hi from? I feel like you were just outside for a second or something. There you are. What up, girl? I think you're a girl. Right? McConnell. Here I am, as promised. Thank for the response so quickly. I'll take you to our base. Head on over to our base. So basically, I can ask them as a follower. What up? Yeah, let's... Huh? Can I switch with you? Why don't you head back to the base? Let's go back to the base. Let's see what they got. Because each of these characters are supposed to have some unique skills that I probably have never seen before. Which is a good thing. I don't want to deliver those samples yet. Oh, maybe I should, huh? Let's go, since we're already out here anyways. These cars has the humongous 
life bar on top, but we can't use it, which is the dumb part if you ask me. Why would you have this huge life bar but it doesn't work? Yo, let's see what the red talent can do. You guys survive the daybreak. He's got a real nice gun too. RTX. I think that's the 22 mil. Never really have any problem with the influence. I don't really need medical outposts if I'm honest. Because once I have two hydroponic systems trade up, one of them's gonna be completely converted to What's up? Herbs? That's not the character. There you are. Thanks. We owe you. You're welcome. These plague samples. I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. Okay, so how much do I have? 407. I will Thanks. definitely need. Don't get dead, okay? Okay, so this is taking a while, that's why. So I'll definitely need an ammo outpost. Is there an ammo store nearby? I don't remember, that's the thing. This corner was their ammo store. Oh no, I'm not even on Casket Hill. I'm on Meteor Valley. That's odd. This whole time I've been playing, I keep thinking that I was on... I think there's a store right here. No, I don't think that's it. Let's go check it out. I don't remember exactly, but I do need an outpost for ammo. Ammo is like one of my favorite things to have, of course. I'm gonna refill the truck. It's someone I like. Someone you like, huh? It's kind of sad that he or she, I mean she is going to have to wear a mask this whole time. I prefer to take off their mask, but... That's why I think that we should definitely have character customization. Like, why is it... Why can't we remove a mask on top of... In front of someone's face? That's just dumb. I think that is an ammo sword. Right? Yep, that is. I'll make this my first outpost. I think it's 300 points. If we're looking for an outpost, this is the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's... We got zombies everywhere. When you say everywhere, you mean two places? Keep pushing. Then rest. Okay. Is there someone else? I feel like I can hear him. There you are. Still a few undead around. Okay, site secure means I can claim it. Let's pick up this plague sample. Plague sample. It's 300 claim outposts. I'm finished here. Finish Ammo outposts I can almost always use. It's weird. I ended my story with... I ended a legacy at Meager Valley, but I still moved on to Meager Valley. I thought they were for sure they would give me another one. Could be worse. Okay. Check this out. I gotta drop this off soon. Of course, being outpost, I can just drop all these stuff here. This stop was definitely worth it. Let me tell you that. If, if possible, I would like to actually claim up to th six ammo outposts. So that way I can rack up on ammos. I'm sure everyone hates it when they don't have enough ammo. There's three more containers in here. Probably two more in there. Wait, what the? the day gets a little better. Okay, there's one more somewhere. Am I blind? I just can't see it. So we got some ammo storage. Maybe when I go back to the base, I can have them storage that on there. But where is the last one? It would be nice to find an ammo press at the moment. Most of the time, ammo press came with the uh, 
traitors. Hey, here's a thought. I want to find allies in this town who will help us wipe out the blood plague. We can't do it alone. Okay, so I don't see anything. Wait, is something flashing? I don't see anything flashing at me. Nope. Okay, so I guess I don't get the final one, huh? Right, let's head back to base. I can always come back to this location. Back to the studio. And I'm going the wrong way. Or whatever, don't matter. It's We're just... How big is that? Or it's only like four or five zombies. Oh, of course. My super skillful driving caused me to crash into a telephone pole. And a car. Twice. Now, I just gotta play the daybreak like 10 times and get myself more points. Welcome back to our home. What you want? You got a fire and axe? Or no, that's not even a fire and axe. I was hoping that you have the RTX exterminator blade. Okay, welcome back to the community. You won't regret this. I feel like I saw her without a mask. Nope, just kidding. You have your mask on. Been keeping safe. It's Why don't I have power? My base should have water and power. Consider I chose the builder's legacy, right? So I guess I really can't, I don't understand why I don't have power. I for sure pick the legacy. So the plan is I will definitely try to have food and scrap uh, and circuitry. And that way I can basically build a hydroponic system right over there. And when I do, I'll have water, power, food, medical and repair. So I think this is a good point to end this video guys. Of course, I'll try to set this community up just for streams only, and I hope that I can get that up as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It'll be a huge help. While you're at it, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.